If we hear on the news that there was a recent power outage, many of us would assume it's weather-related. Probably a violent storm or possibly even a technical hiccup. What doesn't come to mind immediately are squirrels. Yes, squirrels. Those cute little innocent nut-chewing critters that live in the trees. However, squirrels are more than a pest when it comes to power outages. They are a serious and expensive problem. In the US alone, squirrels are responsible for around 15,000 power outages every year, which is about 15% of all outages. And that's around 80% of all animal-related outages. Furthermore, costs incurred by squirrel-related disruptions run in excess of $20 million a year. The problem isn't restricted to America either. Squirrels are common throughout Europe and Asia and a lot of parts of Africa. The power failures caused by squirrels lead to dissatisfied customers, lost revenue for power companies, as well as for any businesses forced to halt operations. The big question is why do squirrels cause so many power outages? What is it about these adorable little creatures that has led power companies to construct elaborate systems purely designed to thwart the destructive squirrel? Uh, basically, squirrels are accidentally perfectly designed power disrupting machines. They're small, intelligent, agile, and have extremely powerful jaws. The kinds of jaws that can chew through important expensive wires, as well as cable, cords. They can run quickly across power lines, which act as bridges and roads for squirrels on the move. This is all fine until they run into a transformer, this being another cause of power outages. Finally, and most critically, there are many, many squirrels out there. So how exactly do they cause the power to go down? Well, typically this happens in one of two ways. The first is by putting their jaws of steel to work. Squirrels can basically just chew through power cables and wires with relative ease. While this usually results in the squirrel's death, it can also lead to hours of power outages that affect thousands of homes and businesses. Maybe the question is to ask, why do they chew through cables? What is it about those thick, juicy, hard cables and wires that entice the squirrels? Surely it can't be the taste. Well, the answer lies in squirrels' teeth. This is because squirrels' teeth never stop growing, which is a problem. Some adult squirrels have front teeth that can grow up to a whopping 20 centimeters a year. 20 centimeters! Naturally, that makes chewing and eating anything pretty difficult. In order to combat their ever-growing teeth, squirrels seek out hard surfaces and textures that can help to wear down and sharpen their teeth, which is what they need so they can crack open nuts and hard fruits. In the wild, there are plenty of tree branches and nuts to nibble on, keeping the teeth growth in check. However, in urban areas, a lot of squirrels get their food from food waste, which doesn't require powerful chewing. As a result, squirrels' teeth can reach uncomfortable lengths. By gnawing away on a power line, squirrels can relieve that often painful tooth growth and sharpen up for meals at the same time. Why power lines in particular, though? Ah, uh, who can say? Experts think that cables are the perfect size to fit in a squirrel's mouth, and the texture might also be an added bonus. And a word of mouth gets around too in the squirrel community, and pretty soon everybody's doing it. They're particularly prevalent during the warmer months from spring to early autumn in the northern hemisphere. And although power damage created by storms is more widespread and longer lasting, squirrels can certainly cause some problems. Squirrels can also seriously cause blackouts if they run into a power transformer. If the transformer is connected to the ground as well as an energy cable, it's highly energized. These transformers are usually on power poles high above the ground. Squirrels are fond of darting along power lines and often come into contact with power transformers. If a squirrel or any creature runs into a transformer, they themselves become a source for an electrical current. If the squirrel is knocked to the ground, then normal power might resume. However, when the squirrels become lodged or stuck in the equipment, this causes continuous faults, which burn out circuit breakers and set off major outages. Similarly, if a squirrel touches two wires at the same time, it creates a power surge that electrocutes the squirrel as well as causing an outage. Squirrels are drawn to power lines, as they're able to keep a safe distance from land-based predators. Thus, there have been some squirrel-related blackouts on a grand scale over the years. The Nasdaq stock market has been brought to its knees twice by these furry-tailed nimble pests. In 1987 and again in 1994, a squirrel ran into a power line transformer in Connecticut, setting off an immediate power failure. The Nasdaq's power base was located in Connecticut, and trading was shut down for almost two hours. It's estimated that at least 20 million trades were lost in the delay. In 2015, a squirrel made its way into a California substation and bit through a live cable. Over 45,000 people in the Bay Area lost power for almost three hours. In the same year, 
Another squirrel ate through a lead wire on a power line in Richmond, Virginia. The result? Almost half the city was blacked out, closing down schools and businesses. Squirrels are intelligent animals. They learn quickly. However, forcing power companies to try all kinds of devices and deterrents to keep them away from power supplies. In some cases, fake owls have been installed on poles near major power lines. Squirrels caught onto this pretty fast, which was evident by the owls having bite-sized chunks taken out of them. As bemused as some may be, power companies aren't laughing. Extreme weather can't be prevented, but I do think a squirrel can. Recent innovations on power lines and in substations are proving to be effective. Some power companies now use plastic coverings on electric poles, where the wirings interconnect. They also use a rester cap to prevent squirrels from stopping for too long on power cables. The goal is ultimately to save the squirrels and the power supplies. Obviously, the best way to do this is by keeping squirrels off the poles altogether. If they can't climb up, they can't do any damage. Power companies in North America and Europe are now installing prevention tools on poles such as rollers, slippery grips, and spinning wheels. It should be pointed out that it's not just squirrels to blame for causing power shortages, though. Other animals do their bit, too, 20% of the time. Birds, possums, monkeys, and even snakes are all capable of either disrupting a transformer or breaking a power line. Bird droppings can build up and damage transformers. Their wingspans also mean that they can set up power surges when they touch two lines at the same time. In 2019, the mighty Japanese bullet trains were brought to a screeching halt by a slug. This little slimy rascal worked its way into a circuit box, and then next into a major rail line. When it was electrocuted, the incinerated remains caused a power collapse that stranded 12,000 commuters in Kyushu. Squirrels, however, are the undisputed champions. Hopefully, if power lines can become off-limits, squirrels can find safer and less disruptive methods of keeping their pesky teeth in check.